Hey, Steve Zelnardi here with Treviso Realty. I just want to show you Portacol, uh, the gated community that we bought our investment property in Fort Myers. We did a drone over just to kind of show you the beauty of this property. Um, and just a small anecdote, um, cutting my hair in the actual community by my Puerto Rican barber from the Bronx. Uh, and as you would normally get your information from, gave me the whole rundown on the neighborhood, which is cool. So what happens is, and I always talked about this area, how mature the street was. I'm like, wow, these trees are great. And it almost looks like it was an old road prior and then they built houses later, but it wouldn't make sense because everything is, is so well divided and it's obviously a subdivision. Um, so, you know, there's obviously a story there. So the story is in 2005, six and seven, obviously we're leading into the financial crisis or the housing crisis here in the US uh, this pro this neighborhood was owned by uh, Taylor Morrison, which is like a higher end builder. And what happens with the with the area is they were going to build these beautiful like California inspired homes. Were going to be garages on the side. It didn't have like the traditional stucco here. It was more like it had these little humps and them little bumps like you would have in California. And if you see even our gatehouse, and I'll show you in the video, it'll see like how the stucco is done is differently than the normal Florida because it was supposed to be a California inspired area. So the air is beautiful and that's it. So W so Taylor Merson own, owns, the, owns the land, puts in the roads, puts in the landscaping, puts in the gatehouse, a housing crisis ha uh, comes along. They had, I think maybe three to five houses built in the area, like model homes, stuff like that, uh, ready to go. So they shut down the project naturally because it's not financially, um, it's not financially in their best interest to keep going forward. So what happens is WCI buys it off of Taylor Morrison at some point, which is a big builder also in the US. And then WCI is purchased by Lennar Homes. And then Lennar Homes starts building houses here about five years ago. Um, and so now it's a Lennar subdivision under WCI um, you know, communities. But ultimately, good thing is, is that the area is so well established like the trees it's not like see, even for Dana village it's very young so everything has to grow into uh this but now you're moving into an area that's got 15 year old trees and it's brand new um here let me show you guys what i'm talking about here we go so this is this is portico the gated community in uh fort myers where we bought and invested or invest, and bought an investment property a few of our clients actually bought into this area don't mind my drone flying because i'm still like choppy you have to be a, a, a very young millennial to do this well. But anyway, so look at these trees as you're coming in. Like these are usually like little sticks, six feet, and those are full grown trees. Um, here as we go, and you can see the gatehouse. I think I stopped in front and kind of do like a little 360 here. But look at the gatehouse. If you, it sort of looks like if you're in California, like the style of it. Um, let's see what I do here. If you see like the stucco, there's, there's more like lumpy type uh, wall imprints on there. It's more of like California style. I just did like a 360. These are the model homes actually. Um, my brain works this fast. This is why it's this, this quick. So <laughs> sorry about that. This is the parking lot to the amenity center. That's just over here as you walk, as you drive in. See the lumpy uh, uh, stucco system? So these are our gated communities. The, the, the gates do close down at 7 p.m and they reopen at 7 a.m. or earlier. So these are wide open, obviously, because there's construction going on, so uh, they'll remain open. But look how nice and mature these trees are. They're beautiful. It's absolutely gorgeous. This is why I really like this area. I think it's the best bang for the buck, to be honest. You can buy a uh, N-unit townhouse for 270,000 USD. You can buy a beautiful bungalow that we bought now on water, which we did for clients for like 300, works out to about 380 uh, USD. And then there's like 3% incentives on closing. Uh, the good thing is some properties are coming back on the market because when buyers originally purchased, they purchased it at a lower interest rate and obviously they are not qualifying at these higher rates, which are putting um, completed houses back on the market. And the builder Lennar is not being greedy. They're, they're unloading them at uh, fair market value, which is awesome. So this is the uh, amenity center. So uh, this is our front desk in here. This is our, our doors to get back to the pool. Through this way here, this is where you're gonna find your um, movement room and also the gym. Um, so here we go, we've got a tennis, so basketball court here, it's not lit. So, I mean, if you're gonna play basketball, you're gonna have to do it before, especially in today's, um, you know, times, the time, timing is like 536, you have to be, uh, I think people are doing yoga 
But anyway, um, yeah, so nice little basketball court. This gets stacked with the kids, the neighborhood kids at night, which is quite nice. These are our tennis courts. These are usually good. I never ran into a problem where one of these were occupied and they didn't have an opportunity to play, which is great. This is our pickleball courts. So there's another two courts here, which is cool. This is actually a really cool game. We picked it up as a family. So my seven-year-old son, Nicholas, and 11-year-old daughter, Selena, and my wife, we, uh, we hit a few balls at night, which is nice. You know, instead of just watching TV, I mean, the whole point of Florida is to kind of live the lifestyle. And, you know, you bike ride at night, you go play pickleball, you go to the pool. It's all about living rather than how we're traditionally, to, um, you know, oop, almost crashed the fence. But ultimately, living back home where it's just like you work and you just drain out in front of the TV at night. So this is our pool, which is great. It's five feet depth. Naturally, they can't go any deeper in Florida because the water table is at seven feet, which is cool because I'm not a very strong swimmer. So this is good for me. Um, yeah, pretty cool. All these lawn chairs, it's like right now it's during the snowbird season so they don't fill up totally you always find space here but there was about i think 30 to 40 people on on the saturday pass so we're it was probably like uh, early december december 2nd 3rd uh this is your sun shelf little chill area nine inches which is cool i hang there actually this is our gym this is me when i i videotape my morning treadmill walk so this is usually my spot overlooking the uh, pool area uh, what's cool too here, it has two natural gas barbecues. So if you're having a party, if you have family coming in, you don't have to really disrupt your house. You could just do it all here. Um, and there's like a nice seating area. You know what? Let me rewind that and show you guys a seating area. So just if you can kind of see here, you got couches, there's a TV on the wall up here, and you got these nice seating areas out in the shade, which is cool. So you can have, and there's the barbecues are, let's just rewind this a bit. Uh, da -da. Here they are. So you get your two natural gas barbecues. You can cook your food, have your family and friends here, maybe watch a game, chill out, go swimming. Uh, quite cool. Like, I mean, the kids can do it at the playground here. Uh, let me see what I was going to do now. Uh, I think I'm going to do like a 360. This is a new subdivision being put in. I'm not sure about the plans just yet, which is cool. Um, these, so these are, so, oh, I'll show you one of the Taylor Morrison houses here. Let me see. Here, see this is supposed to be a California designed house. You see the garage on the side. If you see the actual house, it doesn't look like it fits here, even this house here. But then these are the traditional uh, houses that Lennar is selling. And this is another Taylor Morrison house here. And this one too is a smaller version. I think there was just a fill-in of like other uh, models, but it was, uh, they're quite cool. These are the townhouses. So if you see they're closest to the amenities, these are great. Like end unit townhouses, 278,000. Mid unit, 268,000 USD. You got about literally 1,500 square feet, give or take. Three bedroom, three bath. Beautiful little section. The only thing is your HOA fees are a little bit higher here. Uh, that's because you have a building insurance and also the, like the roofing is all done through uh, common expenses and, and um, yeah, so there's just a few more expenses, but it's all put in the reserve and it's going to be put towards the house, so it's not like it's a total loss. Um, yeah, so you see all here how beautiful this tree, the uh, the area is here. This will definitely be a subdivision at some point. Um, as you're following down here, we are exactly down here. This is like the last phases here, and there's one more getting built down here. Um, but that's pretty much it. They're almost done. I think they have another year of supply of houses. So if you are interested and you want like a nice little investment property or getaway snowbirds or some uh, investment, like even as a rental, this is a great place. Good thing is the uh, this used to have uh, more strict restrictions on rentals. It was only four times per year you can rent out your property at 30 day, a minimum 30 day stints. So it was the whole, when I bought it, it was like, okay, fair enough, we'll just rent it out seasonally. We'll rent it in quarters, three month quarters. Um, now the good thing is that they've done an amendment to the actual original condo um, documentation. And now you're gonna be able to lease it out 12 times per year at 30 day stints. So at least you can, you can definitely short term rental. It's not gonna be like a full short term, but again, you got 12 times to do it. If you wanna rent it out for a week, you have the opportunity that 12 times to do it. I would more than likely rent it out uh, seasonally, like quarterly, try to do it for like a three month. Someone's willing to give you 4,500 uh, USD per month. You just, you know, hammer it out there. Then maybe fill in the other months um, with other tenants. But uh, that's pretty much it, guys. That is Portico in 
uh, Fort Myers, North Fort Myers. If you have any questions, you can always reach out to me at 647-962-4372. I hope you enjoyed these tours. We're going to try to do, I'm not going to try, we're going to do one for every gated community that we're looking to uh, work uh, in and sell and also invest. So have a great day, guys, uh, day, guys and have a good one. Ciao.